So while initiating the leg series, we are actually gonna start get started with the simple programs, and I will not be actually making the leg programs, but I will actually just review what the leg programs had remained already, and I will actually uh, actually also uh, try running all of them, and will show you step by step that what is actually happening in the program. So for the starting, we have the this digit float program, so we will actually try running it. What if this program does is actually uh, get me the characters means uh, get me the value of the characters means uh, whenever I will type the character it will recognize the characters and the words and the digits and the identifiers and the floats and the regular expression here are actually uh, does matters here uh, uh, mm, the most that is actually the order of the regular expressions uh, matters here the most uh, so we have actually ran them accordingly <coughs> So let me actually uh, try show you, uh, showing you some of the sample format of uh, Lex that's actually inside the test.l and in the test.l we have three parts. Three parts are actually being separated with the percentage symbols. These are, there are three blocks in a Lex program like this percent percent and percent percent uh, so here is the one of the block and the second one actually is for regular expression and third one is for anti main declarations. The, all the functions which we want to actually run in this program like by error or say anti main or say by wrap actually comes into this third block the regular expression for recognizing the particular things inside our uh, program or say input program or uh, it does actually comes into this and we have we also define the work to be done when we actually come across some of the things like that uh, inside this block and the first block actually refers to the uh, C declaration block in which we use to declare the header files so let me actually Explain you some. So this is actually the first block, and inside this, you to start with the percent, and then a uh, start of curly braces, and then you to end with, uh, and used to end with a percentage percentage value and uh, uh, curly braces at the end. So first you have the hash stdio dot dash uh, hash include stdio dot hash, then you used to include the string dot dash for the string manipulation and the function like strlen, and now you used to actually put the uh, different different stuff so like of the regular expressions here. Firstly, we are actually identifying a word. The definition according to mean the of a word is a uh, thingy or a character sequence in which we have more than one character that is actually at least two characters and um, both characters must be either a uh, small case letters of alphabets or say uppercase letters of alphabet and accordingly we have made a regular expression the first character can be from small to z or capital A to z inside this class that is actually square bracket is used to represent a class and then we have the uh, small e to z and capital e to z uh, that's actually the second thingy or the second uh, class which actually represents the second letter yeah uh, so whenever this will get encountered or we can have more the plus symbol indicates that we can have one or more occurrences of the second class so uh, the, whenever this uh, regular expression is encountered what used to happen is that we have a print statement that says that it is actually a word and uh, it used to print the viber text which is actually being recognized as a word and the second thing is that uh, we have this um, uh, we have the regular expression for the identifier the most more specific thing will come upwards and the more generic thing will go downwards so as you can see the dot actually represents any character one character but any character so we have put it at the last whenever anything is not actually matched with the regular expression then we used to put a dot that actually represents that you it will match with anything else which is left from above so firstly we have actually put it the word regular expression because it actually contains two words but even if uh, anything cont is containing only a single word then it will go into this identifier so more generic change will uh, uh, more generic thing will come downwards uh, and the second thing is actually okay uh, so uh, the first one is actually for the word and the second one is actually for identifier so right uh, regular expression for an identifier is actually uh, starting with a underscore or a small case letter or a capital case letter and then we have it is actually being followed by uh, small case letters or capital case letters or 0 to 9 is digits and also underscore is also a lot as C style identifier so whenever this is actually encountered a star actually represents that this class can come zero or more times and this second class which is actually this one can come zero or more times 
Then we have this identifier statement printing identifier and also printing the y y hex here and then we have actually incremented the length count the length count is actually storing the number of characters encountered till yet then we have this statement that is, that is equal to uh f print f y y out identifier mm, so we have this identifier and then percent s and then y y x this means what has been identified as an uh, identified as an identifier so button percent is uh, percent s and then we have this viber text similarly we are actually identifying a float what is the definition of a float float actually is what uh, which is actually something like 0 0.9 uh, 0.9 is also a float 0 0.9 is also float means the dot is actually necessary and a character after dot is actually necessary but the digits before the dot are actually not necessary so the not necessary thing will come uh, with the help of this star and before it we can have 0 to 9 means 0 to 9 any character can come 0 or more times right mm, and then we have a dot which is necessary and then we have this 0 to 9 plus means 0 to 9 must come at least one after this dot and then we have this print statement which says that plot uh, this is actually a float and this is the text which is actually being identified as a float and then uh, talking of this 0 to 9 plus which is actually an integer integer is actually being uh, identified one or more times means uh, at least one time it must come as uh, an integer and uh, we can have more characters of it will be identified as an identified as an integer if it is not containing any dot between them. So this is actually being stated as an integer, and an int will be actually uh, printed on the screen when, and also the wire text, which is actually representing this integer, will also be printed. In the file, it will be also printed as int, and uh, any other character which is not actually satisfying any condition of these regular expression will not come uh, into these and will uh, be recognized into the dot. Symbol, and then a character will be printed on the screen then we have this viber wrap variable viber well, wrap function which is actually necessary because it is create because it creates a warning the viber wrap is i think uh, called when the input is get gets exhausted then what to do then it actually uh, returns one means uh, viber wrap is only for the formality purpose to be defined here otherwise it will create warnings create warnings mm, so we have created this and then we have the main function which uh, for which the main part is actually calling the yy legs taking input from a uh, console is also possible but taking input from a file is also possible from the console we will get the input when uh, yy uh, in is actually set to default to take input from the console but when we set it to take inputs from the from a file like abc.txt then we will uh, open a file with the help of a function called fopen and then abc.txt and then with the mode of r mm, and then yy in will we actually set to point to that f open open file and then in the output file in which it will write we can set the wac abc.txt it is a different thing uh, from the yy in that uh, the print statement will actually set print uh, to the yy uh, uh, yy uh, to the console but yes f print f which is actually using uh you being used to print to the file system array will actually print to that particular file which we have uh opened as write mode but if it is actually not available uh, as a file then it will be created on the fly and then next at the end we need to close all the um, both these files f close y y in and then f close y y out like this we have to close the files so these are done and we can actually run these files by using lex program and in windows we have to actually install the uh, flex system for the lex files and uh, the yak uh, for the yak files means y.y extension files we have to use uh, the bison as a program to actually make the y.tab.c file uh, by using a yak file and then we have to use the gcc to compile both the lex and yak file to make a exe file by default a.exe is uh, being created by using the gcc means uh, XC, uh, c compiler and uh, if we also want to give the name to the file that we want to also rename after the compilation process then we can also do this by using minus o flag uh, in front of gcc that is using gcc with the input file then minus o flag and whatever name you want to give like abc.txe we can also do so firstly let actually uh, go to our folder and then we will actually uh, go to what we will not go to anything and we will use flex and then the file name is test.l and it will be actually um, creating the lex.yy.c the gcc uh, lex.yy.c will be actually called with the minus of flag uh, minus of flag for renaming 
and then uh, naming the file as test.exe and then yes it will create me a file test.exe where I can directly run that file from the command okay test it is actually test not text test.exe and it is actually waiting the program is running uh, and it has run on uh, it has already ran and it is actually uh, running now if I try a trade and that uh, it will actually get close how is being closed I don't know but yet, uh, it is closed we can actually do one thing to actually close it forcefully we can put an end rate here like this we can put an uh, end rate here to actually close it uh, and in my text file in my uh, in my uh, next file that is actually uh, test.l we can do what is whenever an end rate is encountered this is like a, this whole block is like a lex function which is running so we can uh, use a return statement this iterate is actually like a if lock and whenever it is encountered you have to just return uh, zero means return from this function this whole function here is actually lex so this will get returned towards the main and lex is actually being called here and you will return after this statement and will print the total number of characters right in this way so let me try running the file again so we will use the same statement like uh, Lex and then we have gcc and then text.exe uh, test.exe and then okay okay it is uh, it has ran and it has printed the total characters is equal to 28 last time it has not been printed uh, it was not printing the total characters is equal to 28 but now it is actually printing the stuff because we have uh, because we have put this at rate statement here that was a small logic to actually deal with that <coughs> Yes, in this way we can run it and we can actually test it by removing the Baba in uh, declaration that we are actually getting the input from uh, say uh, input file. So yes, we can do this by using uh, just commenting the Baba Lex file and then we can actually try it running on it again. So we can have to do all the steps again, GCC and then we have this test.exe and it will actually stop here to actually get the input from the console which I will type. So I can actually just write one which will be actually identified as integer then I can use uh, try uh, recognizing 0 0.9 which will be float so 0 0.9 will be actually uh, say a float and then we can actually test for another character so new line is not recognized but hash is actually recognized as character and then we can actually try for different stuff like underscore is also a valid identifier yes it will come to identify then I will try for ab mm -hmm. ab will be first recognized as a word and then if I try a underscore a underscore will be as identifier and a one a is also a valid identifier so it will come to identifier and, and that was all the stuff inside this test.l file so that was all about uh, this one i think i didn't escape anything so yes character are being recognized load identifier word and their order matters because you know that uh, why we have kept the word at the top mouse because we need at least two characters for to be identified as, uh, identified as a word that's why uh, it is uh, the most um, I think it is more specific among those because they are actually working on a single character uh, this thing here is also special specific but uh, it can't clash with other things I think mm, so these both are actually being clashing because if I um, just put it over here then what it will do is that it actually I'd also identify every word under identify because the second character will actually pass through this regular expression and that's why I didn't uh, want to put this regular expression over here because then no word will be actually identifier and all will be covered under identifier and that's why i have inserted this word and i have also changed the meaning of the word for me for the hypothetical word i have kept this definition that it must contain two characters well the real definition of a word is not this it can contain the numbers also it can contain a single character also that is also a word but i had changed this because to actually remove the clashings so yes the word uh, regular expression according to me will be this and then the second on the second 
put in the uh, identifier and now these both are actually not clashing with anything yes it is actually being cla clashing with this part but yes i have if it is actually passing the identifier that you will say that it is an identifier but yes if it is actually not uh, passing the uh, characteristics of this identifier means it is not starting with a a to z or capital a to z or underscore it means any other character is there then i will print the character but yes characters on all these things needs to be actually counted so we have kept a variable that is actually equal to int line is equal to zero and that will be actually counting all the uh, all the characters from these uh, regular expressions also for example if we have actually recognized anything as an as a word then we will also count the number of characters in it by using the str len function in the by word text and then adding the number means adding the count to the len variable and uh, talking about this stuff this is actually uh, getting me an identifier and i will get the length of this identifier by using the str length the by word text and this count is actually being added to the length and then similarly we have to actually count the number of characters in a float which is actually 0 0.9 so it is actually containing three characters so str length will actually get me the same stuff and similarly doing the length stuff with there and we can actually just do length plus plus here because the dot will actually work for a single character so it is obvious that we are actually implementing only a single character when we have encountered only a single character Finally, uh, these statements above this variable legs will run before all this parsing happens or all this tokenizing happens. But whenever uh, after this legs happens and it will use to read all those stuff and return from here with the help of this appropriate character, then we will actually just print all those characters means how many total characters you have encountered till yet. Because in C style language, we use to print in this way that we have this person place symbol to actually print. Uh, in so we will use this person D and then len is actually pass the variable to be actually inserted here inside this frame. Finally, we need to actually close this stuff to actually uh, close this stuff on the file series so that write file, uh, written file can be saved to the real hard disk uh, rather than just in RAM. So, this was a small lesson of Lex, and um, thank you.